Welcome back, listeners, to another episode of Susan Lopresti Wellness, Mind, Body, and Soul, the podcast where we explore the highs, the lows, and everything in between when it comes to a woman's life, her health, and all aspects of navigating the midlife landscape. I'm your host, Susan Lopresti, and today I want to unveil the legacy of castor oil and its journey through history. From ancient civilizations to modern applications, castor oil has left an indelible mark on human history. And if you're on social media, especially TikTok, you may notice that there are a ton of influences talking about the benefits of castor oil. From both a beauty perspective, as well as a healing modality. Of course, me being curious, I purchased a bottle of castor oil along with a castor oil pack to place over my abdomen and my liver area for detoxification. Now, I just started this um, actually last night was the first night I used it. So I really can't tell you a whole lot about the benefits of it that I'm seeing. But I will tell you that when I got up this morning, I had a very productive bowel movement. So I normally have a bowel movement in the morning, but I just felt that this one was a little bit more productive than normal. So let's leave it at that for now and just go on. I want to start with the history and look at where it all began and just go from ancient history up until modern times. Let's get into what it is and what it's all about. It's derived from the seed of the castor oil being plant, and it has been used for centuries in various health and also industrial benefits. Today, its application span a wide range of industries and purposes, from skincare to manufacturing. And in this episode, we'll look at the ancient roots of castor oil. Our journey begins in ancient Egypt, where castor oil was used for its medicinal properties. The Egyptians extracted the oil from the seeds of the castor plant to treat various ailments and as a component of their embalming rituals. As we move forward in time, We encounter the medieval and Renaissance periods where castor oil continued to hold significance. During this era, it found use to, again, with bowel movement to cleanse the body of toxins. And we know today that having good bowel movements definitely has a detoxifying element to it. In the era of the Industrial Revolution, this marked a turning point in the history of castor oil. With advances in technology and chemistry, the oil found new applications beyond medicine. It became a vital ingredient in the manufacturing of soaps and lubricants and also textiles, fueling the industrial growth. In modern times, in the 20th century, castor oil regained prominence in the field of medicine. Its effectiveness as a laxative led to its widespread use in over-the-counter remedies. And I remember as a child, my mom having me drink a tablespoon of castor oil whenever I became constipated. I hated the taste and I would cry that I didn't want it but it did work and I always felt better after having it. It has an anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties as well, and it's a key ingredient in skincare products and pharmaceuticals. So in skincare, castor oil is renowned for its moisturizing properties, making it a popular ingredient in skincare products. And also on social media, they are promoting it as the new Botox remedy. It's rich in fatty acids, which helps to hydrate and nourish the skin. And many people use castor oil as a natural remedy for dry skin 
acne, and other various skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis. Its anti-inflammatory properties also make it effective in reducing redness and inflammation. It's used in a lot of hair care remedies as well. So castor oil is a staple in many hair care routines. It's moisturizing and its nourishing properties can help promote hair growth, strengthen the hair follicle, and also prevent hair breakage and split ends. Some people use it as a deep conditioner or as a scalp treatment to improve the health of the hair and the scalp. Additionally, castor oil is believed to thicken your hair and also enhance its shine. Another new and what I noticed to be on social media a lot is promoting it for eyelashes and eyebrow growth. Now, I have Hashimoto's disease. So one of the symptoms of Hashimoto's is where you lose what they call the third eyebrow, which is the ending of it. And I pencil in my eyebrows every day when I put makeup on. So what they're saying is that it helps to promote thicker eyelashes and eyebrows. So I'll keep you posted on that because I just recently, like yesterday, started putting it on my eyebrows. I put it on my eyelashes as well, but when I woke up this morning, I was having like a film over my eyes. So I wasn't seeing too clearly. So I'm not sure that I'm going to put it on my eyelashes again, especially if I need to drive, right? I don't want to be having this film over my eyes. But certainly applying the castor oil to your lashes and your eyebrows is said to promote hair growth. So I'll keep you posted on that, or you could try it for yourself and let me know what you think. It's also used as pain relief. Some people use it as a natural remedy for joint pain and arthritis, also muscle soreness and other aches and pains. Massaging castor oil into the affected area is said to help to alleviate discomfort and promote relaxation. And then as far as industrial and manufacturing, beyond its uses in personal care, castor oil also plays a significant role in various industries. It's a key ingredient in the production of lubricants and coatings, paints, and plastics as well. Castor oil's unique chemical composition, including its high viscosity and resistance to oxidation, make it valuable in these applications. It's being used in soaps, cosmetics, and also pharmaceuticals. And then as biofuel, in recent years, there's been growing interest in using castor oil as a feedstock for biofuel production. Cast plants are highly efficient in converting sunlight into energy, and the oil can be processed into biodiesel. And this renewable energy source offers potential benefits in terms of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and dependence on fossil fuel. That remains as an ongoing research in conclusion, castor oil continues to be a versatile and valuable substance in numerous modern day applications, whether it's for skin care, hair care, pain relief, industrial uses, or biofuel production. Castor oil remains an essential ingredient in various products and in industries around the world. Thank you so much for joining me here today on my podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to share it out with your friends and family. And until the next time, be well, stay happy, and bye for now. Take good care, everyone.